joy to you and me. Oh yeah. Well, welcome to Fishtails. Hey, I'm gonna go out and do a little fishing in the hot afternoon. It's about 92, 93 degrees. Feels like it's a hell of a lot hotter than that. I'm gonna wet wade with a friend of mine, new guy in the fly club. We'll see if he knows anything. Doesn't matter if he does or not. You can always catch fish at this place I'm going. Or most time you can. It's been getting a little difficult in the evenings because it's getting warm. Fish don't start biting until late in the evening. But here we go. Y'all hang on. Take a little bit to get out there. I probably should have stayed and worked on my trimble bed, but there's plenty of time to get that done. I had more important things to do, like to test out my newest version of the froggy fly. The hookup froggy fly hopper. Because it also resembles a grasshopper. All right. There you go. Following behind Jamie was not a good idea. He was catching all the bass, but I did manage to catch one little one off the new version of the froggy fly. It was pretty clear that Jamie was going to pick off all the bass before I got to him, so I decided to hoof it up over the dam and hit the other side a little bit. take any more of this. This heavy fly rod is eating me up. Especially when you have to use it in these deep, deep, deep weeds. So I'm gonna throw a plug at them. Got a conventional plug. I don't care how good the fly fishing might be at the moment. I don't want to wear my arm out. It's already starting to go numb. <laughs> yeah, it's time to throw something else. That's the kind of fly fisherman I am. <laughs> Only when it's convenient. I'd like to do this for a few more years, so it's a good idea to stop before your arms completely wear out. Using a big fly rod like this in conditions like this Man, you can really tear up your elbows. Especially when you get old like me. I think he's got his conventional gear. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> I changed. I'm gonna throw a popper. My arm won't take any more of that fly rod today. this. I bet this thing works up here. It's a lot warmer in this part of the lake. I had several fish pick that thing up, but they sure didn't hang on to it. Jamie and I decided to go check out the beaver pond, which is just upstream from this one. I had a couple of fish on there too with that conventional plug and couldn't hang on to either one of those either. So then after that, we walked back to the cars and made our way over to Lake Mary. That was a good move and about the right time too, just before dark. This is a working ranch, so they were doing some brush cleaning, clearing out. I picked up Oh, I think four little bass, all pretty quick on the froggy fly, standing directly downwind of that little fire. It smelled good, kind of like a campfire. Good one. Oh, there you go. Nice fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just drag him up on the bank. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> Come on. 
one right up here. <laughs> that old fish just gave up, man. Look at that. That's my regular old froggy fly. It does. <laughs> That's about like the one you just caught. About like that one. That's a two and a half, three pound fish. Nice one, no matter how you look at it. Now ain't that a nice way to finish off a hot day? Can't beat it, man. Fly fishing. Catching fish on a froggy fly. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.